So the Miami Dolphins owner brought back up the player protests of social injustice during national anthem ceremonies at NFL games last season. At this point in our collective experience, Stephen Ross's comments invite reflection about a moment that already feels like history. Did the protests result in progress? Common wisdom says, not really. Of course, that's wrong. Before the discussion turned into an argument about who loves America and who doesn't, it was a discussion about police community relations, and that's a conversation we all need to have. When Colin Kaepernick took a knee, someone, somewhere, paid attention to some problems that would have otherwise been ignored. Never mind the degree, that is progress. Should the players regret making a stir? Hard to judge from the peanut gallery. But remember this, athletes who have risked speaking out and up for social justice have a special place in sports in American history. Ali, John Carlos and Tommy Smith, many others, divisive in their own time, but heroic in perpetuity. Did the protests hurt the league? Common wisdom is that the protests alienated a significant part of the fan base, and that erosion can be seen in the TV ratings. Except that research shows that equal shares from both major political parties consumed less football this season. TV ratings are down across the industry. It's not political, it's technological. Go ahead, Google TV ratings down. No, the NFL player protests did one thing more than any other. They demonstrated how furious Americans are with each other and how that fury is being exploited. Football remains one of our few shared experiences. Players saw that as a platform, as a place to raise awareness of some of our shared challenges. Our political leadership saw America's collective football experience as yet another vehicle by which to stoke anger and hostility. It was easy to see and easy to do, to divide our most united pastime for purely political purposes. The NFL protests of 2017 are history, and when our kids and grandkids read about them, they'll get a pretty good idea about what was happening in the country well beyond its football stadiums.